Hello everyone, welcome back to another pickups video. As you guys know, this isn't just games. I usually try to include any other items that I pick up, such as books, um, like amiibos, toys that are related to the game, action figures, whatever it might be that's relevant to that game or just gaming in general, I'll usually include in one of these videos. Uh, the first item that we have here is a book. It's a big one, so we'll get it out of the way. So the first item, we got the Hogwarts Legacy book, Art of Making uh, Hogwarts Legacy. It's pretty cool. You do have a number of different like outfits that they had in the game. There's different uh, environments, like player models, just a number of different things. So it's really cool. If anybody's into art, anybody's into like game dev, that sort of thing, I definitely recommend it. It's a pretty good book. It has a lot of content in it. So uh, the next item on the list we'll get out of the way is this Zelda and Loftwing Amiibo. I don't really collect amiibos, but they do look kind of cool. And usually they're pretty expensive, but these were on sale around holiday time. So I, I picked it up. And to follow up on that, we have another amiibo, which is the Samus one. Right here, and it has an EMMI, so Emmy. Uh, this one was on sale as well, so I figured when I pick it up, it's kind of cool. So. Now to get into the games themselves. <clears throat> so the first item we have here is Hogwarts Legacy. I just finished this game, <clears throat> pretty good. Been having a lot of fun with it. Spent a lot of, probably 45 to close to 50 hours grinding it so far. So we'll save this one for later. The next item on our list here is Martha is Dead. I left this unopened just because I already played through it on PC for one of my streams a long time ago. It was a pretty cool game, so I had a pretty decent amount of fun. Like, for a scary game, it actually was somewhat interesting and kept me engaged. And it was only like $20 uh, on sale, so I picked it up. Then we have this game called The Chant. This also looks pretty interesting. It's like another scary game. Um, I saw it on Steam, and then I saw it on sale on Amazon, so I picked it up on Amazon. It, I did open it, I haven't tried it yet, but I did open it just because I heard a disc rattling around in here. So, that kind of bothered me, but I will get around to playing it at some point, so. Uh, the next item we have on our list is Scarlet Nexus. I've seen a friend play through this, Valco, way, way long time ago, probably like over a year ago now. He played through it on stream for like a crazy 40 hour stream he was doing, and it looks pretty fun. I do enjoy these kind of games, so. When I saw it on sale, I picked it up, and it's a pretty common theme, like most of these games that I picked up were either on sale or just cheap on their own, so. Um, so the next item we have is the Uncharted Remastered. So this has, I think, two of the games, the Thieves' End and the Lost Legacy. I never really, I actually have completed one Uncharted game, like way back in the day, Uncharted 1. I've never really played too many other ones, but they've always been pretty interesting, they always the demos that I tried, betas, whatever that came out, I enjoyed them, so I definitely wanna play through these at some point, so. Next item we have is Control. So that's made by Remedy. I'm pretty sure they're the ones who made Max Payne, one of my favorite game series, so. But uh, this game does seem pretty fun. I've seen a few friends play it. It was like cheap, like $20, $30 when I got it. But yeah, I definitely want to try it out at some point. Next item on the list that we have is one more PS5 item actually, Dimesia, if that's how you say it. Another one that I've seen a few people play, kind of compared to like Soulsborne games. So definitely looks fun, something that I'll try out at some point. Now we're gonna go down to a PlayStation 3 item, the Silent Hill HD Collection. This was actually really cheap on Amazon. It's new, sealed, and it comes with Silent Hill 2 and 3 in this collection. So I do like Silent Hill games. I've never really completed one that I'm aware of, but I played through like the first one and had a couple demos of the other ones. And so they are always like very well made. I think there's a few of them that are kind of bad, but I'm pretty sure 2 and 3 are supposed to be pretty good. So, and then, final item on the list is 
Mortal Kombat Special Forces. So I haven't played this game since maybe when I was like seven or eight years old or something, like really young. On PlayStation 1, I used to play it way back in the day. I do like Mortal Kombat games. This one's a little bit different than most of them, as you, many of you may know. Usually they're like just fighter games. And this one you're in like a third person kind of symmetric perspective and you play as Jax and there's like a whole campaign you like run through levels and do a bunch of stuff kill a bunch of enemies you know so I think based on reviews it didn't necessarily get the best reviews and I don't know how it holds up nowadays because I haven't played it yet but from what I remember it was a really good game so but yeah guys so this concludes the recent pickups um, I'll try to get these out more often uh, a lot of times I end up like recording it not liking it and then next thing you know it's like two months later so but yeah uh, thank you everyone for watching and I'll catch you in the next video